Welcome to the Cultural Anthropology class lecture from Lassen Community College. The topic is Functions of Religion by Colleen Baker. And the topic covers information for the reasons why people are religious. So all cultures have some type of um, ideas of spiritual beliefs. And the United States has a separation of church and state. So some groups in the U.S., in general, the conservatives would like the religion to be involved with the state. And usually the liberals or the Democrats would say that they would like separation of church and state. Other countries, say Islamic countries, in general, the religion and the state are tied together. So laws of the state are created on laws of religion. But anthropologists are really interested in how does religion influence social lives. Religion is used as a way to explain the unexplainable. And there are a couple of different approaches that anthropologists study, and one of them is the psychological approach. And this is the idea that religion helps people cope with individual problems in their lives. And then the sociological approach says that religion provides sources of common values for the entire society so that we all know to act, how to act. Anthropologists realize that religious practices, so the reasons why people might choose to be religious, fall into cognitive or intellectual approach, um, psychological functions, and sociological functions. So with the cognitive function of religion, obviously there are huge questions that we have. And some of the questions might be, um, what is the purpose of life? How was the universe created? What will happen to us after we die? How, we're, why are humans different than other species on the planet? Is there life out there in the universe? So all of these ideas, they're so overwhelming that oftentimes people will choose to be religious to explain the unexplicable. Under the psychological function of religion, people might choose to be religious because life is difficult. You know, there are times of trouble, there's high levels of stress, uh, somebody might become ill, or there's other misfortunes, like why was there a car accident, or why did my, um, why did my child die, something along those lines. So the idea on an afterlife and an afterlife that's going to be a wonderful afterlife might relieve some of the stress. It might answer some of the questions of why there are so many problems in the real lives. It also gives this idea of karma. You've probably heard about this from Buddhism or maybe Hinduism. The idea is that what we do in this life is going to affect our lives in the next life. So if we act well, if we think well, if we have good intentions, our next life will be better than this life. But if we are evil, if we act with bad intentions, if we're selfish, our next life will be more difficult than our life is now. And this kind of helps explain, the psychological approach explains why there might be good and evil in the world. And that if there is evil in an afterlife somehow, whether that's in heaven or hell, or whether that's in reincarnation, if somebody is evil, they'll be punished in the future. In the social function of religion, religion provides common values, common morals, a shared ritual practice. As you see in this picture here, this is the Hajj that Muslims are, if they're able to financially and able to travel, they would go to the uh, city of Mecca in Saudi Arabia. And the Hajj is performed in the last month of the Islamic year, and it lasts from the seventh day until the twelfth day. And that building right there in the center, that black block, is called the Kaaba. And that is, you'll see that the Muslims are actually traveling around the Kaaba in its ritual that you would travel around it seven times. And they usually have approximately two million people visit Mecca during the Hajj. So this creates a huge sense of community. It creates a common sense of identity. It gives a ritual practice. Are you following the religion appropriately? It might be something in Christianity. Do you go to church on Sunday? Do you read the Bible? All of these functions of religion make it so that there's a shared 
values, a shared community. If you become ill, then the church community might help you or might pray for you. But it also provides um, conformity, that you need to conform to these rituals, you need to conform to these practices to be part of the group.